In the series of battles that Invincible has encountered in the comics, one particular fight stands out. His encounter with Conquest, a ruthless Viltramite, forever changed Invincible's view on life. What Invincible didn't know, however, was that Conquest survived their battle. The government, underestimating Conquest's strength, captured him to study Viltrumite physiology. But they made a terrible mistake. The government greatly underestimated his strength, and Conquest immediately escaped as soon as he regained consciousness. This set the stage for another confrontation between Invincible and his toughest enemy yet. After Omni-Man's escape from the Viltrumite prison, he and Alan the Alien began recruiting allies for their war against the Viltrumites. With crucial information and weapons to fight the Viltrumites, Thetis, the supreme leader of the Coalition of Planets, sent Alan and Omni-Man back to Earth to enlist Invincible for the upcoming battle. However, the Viltrumites were aware of the Coalition's plans due to a spy and were also preparing for an attack. Conquest, following his defeat, returned humiliated to the Viltrumite battleship, where he was greeted by Grand Regent Thrag, the strongest Viltrumite and leader of the Empire. Despite his failure, Regent Thrag showed mercy to Conquest and gave him a new mission. To prevent Omni-Man, Invincible, and their allies from reaching the Coalition and joining the battle. This was Conquest's chance to redeem himself. Upon their return to Earth, Omni-Man and Alan enlisted the formidable Tech Jacket, whose powerful suit of armor nearly rivaled the strength of the Viltramites. Together, they made their way to Mark's home, where Omni-Man sought to reconnect with Debbie. However, their reunion was marked by tension, as Debbie still grappled with the wounds of Omni-Man's past betrayal. During their visit, Omni-Man also met his second son, Oliver, who had grown significantly in his absence. Initially, the plan did not include Oliver joining them in the upcoming battle. However, Omni-Man had a change of heart and Oliver was granted permission to join the team in their mission. As they bid farewell to their loved ones and embarked on their journey into space, the unexpected struck. Their ship came under a sudden and devastating ambush, resulting in its complete destruction. Emerging from the wreckage, Invincible was confronted by a shocking sight. Conquest, a powerful Viltramite whom Invincible had believed to be dead, stood before him, accompanied by two other formidable Viltramites. As the intense battle unfolded, Conquest acknowledged Invincible's power, but remained resolute in his intent to kill him, vowing to first eliminate his friends before turning his attention to Mark. Oliver, brimming with overconfidence, impulsively attacked Conquest, while Invincible found himself momentarily overpowered by the Viltramite Lucan. Meanwhile, Alan and Tech Jacket engaged the third unnamed Viltramite. Omni-Man, emerging from the wreckage of their destroyed ship, recognized Conquest with grave concern. He swiftly intervened to save Oliver from Conquest's lethal grasp, prompting Conquest to express his satisfaction at the prospect of also killing Omni-Man, whom he regarded as treacherous. Conquest launched a relentless assault on Omni-Man, subjecting him to a barrage of headbutts. Seeing his father in danger, Invincible quickly broke free from Lucan's grasp and launched a counterattack against Conquest. Amidst the brutal exchange, Invincible questioned Conquest about his supposed demise, only to be met with taunts and threats. Conquest revealed that he had awoken somewhere on Earth, leading Invincible to realize that Cecil had deceived him about Conquest's death. As the battle raged on, Alan, Tech Jacket, Omni-Man and Oliver gained the upper hand against the two other Viltramites, buoyed by the realization that they had a numerical advantage. However, their triumph was short-lived, as Viltramite reinforcements, in the form of a massive army from one of the alien races they had conquered, arrived on the scene. Recognizing the impossibility of defeating such overwhelming numbers, Omni-Man made a decisive call for a change in strategy. He ordered everyone to seek cover and flee, realizing that their only hope for survival lay in retreat. However, Oliver, struggling for air, fled to a nearby alien planet in a desperate attempt to replenish his oxygen supply. Conquest noticed Oliver's escape and seized the opportunity to remind Invincible of his vow to kill his friends first. Determined to save his brother, Invincible pursued Conquest towards the planet where Oliver sought refuge. With unwavering resolve, Mark pushed himself to the brink, catching up to Conquest just before he could reach Oliver. 
the two adversaries collided with earth-shattering force, with Invincible seizing Conquest by the neck, intent on choking the life out of him. Despite Conquest's fierce resistance, Mark refused to relent. Conquest, recognizing the dire situation, attempted to break free by flying at high speeds around the planet, hoping to dislodge Invincible's grip. In a chilling declaration, Conquest revealed that he had revised his plans, now intent on killing Mark first. The velocity of their flight became so intense that Oliver lost sight of them, unable to track their movements. Meanwhile, Omni-Man, realizing the peril his son faced, set out towards the planet to aid Mark in his battle against Conquest. Sensing the escalating danger, the rest of the team made a strategic retreat to a safe location. As Mark and Conquest continued their intense aerial battle, the sheer speed of their flight caused them to collide with numerous obstacles, including cliffs and other terrain features. Despite the chaos, Mark maintained a vice-like grip on his adversary, refusing to relinquish his hold. In a desperate bid to break free, Conquest unleashed a barrage of strikes to Mark's stomach, eventually landing a devastating blow that impaled the hero. Despite the grievous injury, Mark's determination remained unyielding. The relentless struggle finally came to a halt as they ceased their flight, with Mark overpowering Conquest and forcing him to the ground, maintaining his chokehold. In a final, desperate bid for survival, Conquest attempted to reach for Mark's internal organs, exposing the hero's innards. However, the relentless onslaught took its toll, and Conquest finally succumbed to death's embrace. Mark, left in critical condition, was discovered by Oliver and Omni-Man, their arrival marking the end of a brutal battle. Despite his grave injuries, Mark miraculously clung to life. Recognizing the urgency of the situation, Omni-Man made the decision to remain on the planet with his son to aid in his recovery, fully aware that Coalition Headquarters may be under attack. The healing process would be arduous, requiring several months of intensive care. During this time, Omni-Man took it upon himself to bury Conquest, a gesture that elicited disgust from Oliver. Despite their enmity, Omni-Man believed that Conquest, as one of Viltrum's greatest warriors, deserved a proper burial. To sustain themselves, Mark and Omni-Man hunted various animals on the planet, relying on their primal instincts for survival. As the months passed, Mark gradually recovered, although initially unaware of his role in Conquest's demise. He doubted his own strength, unable to comprehend how he could have defeated such a formidable opponent. Omni-Man, however, reassured Mark, affirming that his son possessed a power far greater than he realized. With no time to lose, the trio swiftly departed for Talascria, the Coalition of Planets headquarters, where a brutal attack was already underway. Their timely intervention turned the tide of battle, inspiring hope among the Coalition forces. Encouraged by their presence, the Coalition began to strategize for a full-scale assault on Viltrum, a pivotal campaign that would ultimately determine the outcome of the war.